I'm Catherine Needham from the Health Services Management Centre at the University of Birmingham uh, and I do research into health service management and social care. I'm an academic here. It's fascinating that the NHS has been such a crucial high profile issue of the EU referendum campaign as it is in so many other kinds of political campaigns. This issue of the alleged £350 million a week which would be saved if we leave the EU uh, has been blazoned upon the, the Brexit bus um, and has become I think one of the key uh, uh, points of contention in the referendum debate. So it led uh, Sarah Wollaston MP uh, to leave the Brexit camp and say that she was going to support Remain because she felt that that claim around the saving of 350 million was a spurious claim. And actually the NHS chief exec, Simon Stevens, has said that um, because of the scale of the NHS, uh, we shouldn't get too carried away with that, that amount of 350 million. It sounds like a lot, but actually it would only fund the NHS for about 19 days, he says. Um, so. Um, uh, in that sense, uh, I think this, this figure, which has had so much media attention, is not really the, the key issue in relation to uh, the NHS and Europe. One of the things that uh, concerns a lot of people is about the pressure that's put on the NHS services. We know that uh, accident and emergency services are under a huge amount of pressure and people are, have expressed concerns that growing immigration, which people have linked to membership of the EU, is adding to those pressures. So we've got research from uh, the Nuffield Trust which tells us that um, actually if we look at the uh, rising demands on the NHS, um, not many of those come from rising immigration. It's actually to do with uh, increased numbers of older people uh, and changes in technology. So that the, the sorts of things that the NHS can do, there are a bigger pressure on, uh, on those NHS services. And actually if we're getting uh, lots of young healthy people coming in to the UK, uh, then they're not going to be uh, using lots of NHS services. Uh, and in fact if they're working and paying taxes, they're actually going to be contributing to funding of the NHS. So so this all adds to the sort of complexities of understanding the implications of the immigration debate in relation to um, the EU. And I think another factor that's really important to, to bear in mind is that whereas we do have some people coming in to the country and using NHS services, we're actually a net exporter of people. There are more people going to other countries as health tourists, as um, uh, they're sometimes called. And we know from research done by my colleague Russell Mannion here um, at the Health Services Management Centre about health tourism um, that actually uh, that this isn't kind of a major uh, threat because more people go abroad for uh, bariatric surgery, fertility treatment, cosmetic surgery. Um, so actually, um, uh, again, this is an issue we shouldn't get too hung up on in relation to the future of uh, the NHS and the future of the EU. Um, these are both crucial issues uh, in the current political debate, but actually uh, we need to separate out some of the claims and allegations that have been made uh, and use the good data that we do have to better understand those implications.